What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see all of you again. I am back tonight just relaxing, not working in the FFR shop, but I wanted to do a quick video update for you guys. I know that uh, the last couple of videos I have been kind of uh, sitting down and haven't had much interaction. I'm very proud of Aflim and Unt for giving us an amazing video um, of awesome going to the track. And uh, I'm just super proud of him for the work that he did on the car and getting it back going. Even though I was able to start on part one, I was not able to join him in part two. That was the next day after I had my finger incident. So he jumped out here got it ready, got everything put back together, and then took it to Outlaw for some redemption of his first race out there and was able to go and complete a heat race. Unfortunately, got rained out for the feature race. So the car is ready to go for the next race, and I'm very proud of him, and I'm excited to see what he can do. Um, unfortunately, I will be out for a little bit. Um, but do want to give you guys in this video an update on what happened to kind of reenact without losing a finger this time and show you guys what actually happened in the Bandolero video. Um, I did get that car almost 95% complete um, to go to the track for the race that night or for the practice uh, that night. But unfortunately the accident happened and I got rushed to the emergency room so it, it did not happen. Um, this is it, uh, I, it's, I have pictures, they're just too graphic for me to put up for you guys to see them. But um, in this video, I will show you guys and you can see, I have regained movement and motion in my hand. And I have regained motion in my four fingers to be able to move them. So I'm very optimistic about my fifth finger, even though you can tell that it is a lot shorter than uh, when it's there obviously but i have not been able to regain any motion as far as bending my finger like this with my middle finger it is still completely straight but i did go to the doctor i did get a checkup and was able to see it and it is not as bad as i thought it was going to be so i do know without a shadow of a doubt with just how hard-headed and how strong-willed i am that i will be able to regain 100% movement and motion in my hand. It's just going to take time. Um, so until that time comes, Austin will be wheeling the race cars around the track. And so the next race is hopefully going to be with the Bandolero. You can see in the background, which I'm going to show you guys that in a second. But what I wanted to do now is I've had a few people ask me about the 12 legend car that is sitting behind me over here so i'm gonna slowly jump up and talk to you guys real quick about that car and then we'll come back and i'll give you some really cool updates and some really uh cool information about what's to come for our channel so let's go over here and uh, let's look at this car real quick and i'll show you guys so you have seen this car a few times on the channel i've mentioned it you've seen an in-car video and another race on this car this is the bicker family car out of texas in houston they are the original owners of the bandolero they are who i bought the bandolero car from to start this channel very first video on this channel i explained the bandolero car they bought this legend car after this bandolero was wrecked and that's how we met they fly every race down here and this car sits in my shop. I house it here for them so they don't have to come every week and tow it from Jackson. They end up flying from Houston to Jackson and then drive down from Jackson here to race. So I do all of the maintenance on this car and I also do all of the repairs and just keep it up and do the full setup on this car. We're very grateful to have it as a part of our shop and a part of our team to be able to learn how to do more work on this. So real quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys the last race, last Saturday. He has a pretty nasty wreck on the second lap of the feature race. So I'm gonna show you guys, y'all hang tight. And when we come back, we'll show you the rest and give you guys the updates 
on the race team. So that was a pretty nasty wreck. I see Austin's car here, but I don't know where Austin is. So let's see if we can find him. Austin. Austin, where are you at? <laughs> there he is. What are you doing in there? I'm thinking about getting, I think I'm gonna transfer into one of these cars. What? You're gonna swap. <laughs> Two yeah. finger injuries. You think you're going to take try your hand at a legend car instead of the RSX? Welcome back to A Flim's garage. Yeah, right. It's all it seems lately has been A Flim. What y'all saw there? Give me, give me ten minutes here to get out. Yeah, right. Look at Austin. Can't even fit in these Look little things. Look at these shoes. So, what do you think about that wreck? What you just saw there? Is it? Nasty little wreck, but the car had some damage. And I say had, because we're already ready to go. You come look right here, we'll just go over it real quick. Yeah, tell him all what it took up. When he hit, it snapped this little joint. So we took this out, cut it. I don't have the little piece. He repaired that. It ripped the steering shaft out. So we got out. that back going. That's why it was not able to complete That's the race. That's number one. Number two. What was number two? We had a bumper, it was really bad banged up. We got it straightened out and fixed. Yep. All we got left now is to reattach this bumper. We got this all sanded and painted back black. Uh, as far as the tire goes, the steering it rod rolls is bad. still, so yeah. that's good. Oh, here we go. I'll show you right here. Yeah, the steering we rod. This one, we got a little bend. Yep, bend. Probably bad. still would have worked, but. We got a new one of those on. These all tightened in. This little part where that connects has two bolts. I'm gonna go and see that. The steering shaft or the steering rod that connects uh, to the it spindle. It snapped one of them off. We thought we were gonna have to replace the spindle, but we were able to get an easy out or a speed out. So pretty much you fixed and repaired this whole entire car in what, four hours? I mean, if I can fix a, a front end right end, this ain't nothing. Yeah, That's so, all, all right, well, let's go over here. They've waited long enough, and let's show them what happened. Well, we got here. some, we got the bando painted black somewhat. Looks a little different. We still need to do some sanding and stuff. Uh, yeah. But Austin did finish. But, the it bandolero car. We need a sticker. Skylar's legend. I guess we're just going to race it about 3,020. <laughs> we ain't worried about the legend. Let's show them what happened to my finger before we uh, show them oh, all yeah. about the bando. Here's Scott. He's going to show you rocking the Chase Holland number 45 shirt, I That's see. That's right. Speaking of Chase, they're up in uh, the north United States. I think they're in... Washington or Wisconsin or something. Wisconsin racing. Why am so we? Go Team Holland. Something with a W or an M. Yeah. So real quick, you guys, I wanted to show you this uh, reenactment of what happened. This time, I'm doing it one-handed. You saw me repairing the left side of the car. I moved over here to the right side to do the exact same thing that I did to the left. You see that I had a jack stand in the middle of the car, so it was teeter-tottering. I know that wasn't the right way, and I shouldn't have done it that way. In order for the, me to get my drill under there, and because I couldn't get the car up high enough, and with me being by myself, I teeter-tottered the front so that I could have it at an angle to get my drill under there. Which sounds like a bad idea, but when you see what happened, you'll see that had nothing really to do with yeah. it. Yeah. 
So when I came over here, I had the jack jacked up, which I'm not gonna do it. I had the jack jacked up on this side of the car. I thought it was the other side. Nope, I went and moved over to this side and I had the jack going up just like this. So when I got the jack up, as the car was starting to tilt to the left. Keep going, you'll see it's doing it again. That's right, as the car started tilting Start to the left, sliding. it started sliding just like this. There, there you go, you can see it kind of missing and sliding. Well, as it did that, just like you're seeing right now. He decides to take I'm gonna, that finger. I'm gonna let it down so that it doesn't happen again. Stop Honestly, it right there, stop it the right jack, there. Just act as if the jack was still Right there, up, stop like it right that. there. I decided to reach down here with my hands just like this and grab the car and slide it back and slide it like this across this plate right here to try to get this bar centered back up on this. Well, as I did that, I had my other hand over here on the top. This bar being almost like a skateboard truck when you see it kind of, you know, like they grind on metal. This slipped, turned, and this jack ended up falling like this. And when it slipped, my hand, it, this car slid down, and that jack came right up and took my finger just like that. And when it did, it just clean cut my finger straight through. So you weren't holding it like this? Huh? I had my hand on the bottom. That's yeah, right. so it was like, so pretty much... I can do it. He grabbed it like this, and probably both hands. And there you go. Yep, that's exactly what happened. And just with, like that. And with the weight of the car going down, it and this sharp, sharp, just cut it off. That went up, and there you go. So, what do you got to say about that? He'll always remember this. That's for sure. I don't feel like it was anything I did wrong. I've done it thousands of times with these legend cars sliding it across the jack like that. It just was unfortunate that it went too far the other way and, and got my finger. But the Bandolero is ready to go. We are gonna get rained out. They already called the race at the track. Um, I know you mentioned right. it'll, it'll be post-dated probably. When you guys are seeing this, we already know even tonight that the race is rained out. So that gives us time to kind of just go over this, have some stickers made, finish huh. the Bandolero out. But what I wanted to tell you guys. So was the about, question is, where will A. Flynn be this weekend? Might just be watching somebody. We'll be at home probably. Maybe what I wanted to tell you guys about was some of the newest, uh, some of the things that you can expect moving forward in a couple of weeks with some of our videos. So one of the thing and some of the news that I wanted to tell you guys is that we just ordered our t-shirts today. Ooh. I mentioned in the video when I was sitting inside that the wife surprised me with a Father's Day gift. That is done, I, I placed the order today. So the t-shirt design, we're gonna wait till I get that in to reveal that to you guys. So that'll be something that is coming in the future. You'll be able to do it. We're gonna do a pre-order sale on ordering some shirts and getting them done for y'all. The next thing is we had a sponsor, another sponsor that you see, Port City Motorsports. They joined on the last few videos, has blessed us with a really, big item i'm not going to tell you guys what that is we're going to do a whole build series it's a 55 on that. gallon drum octane booster probably <laughs> if y'all want to try to guess it in the comments they have blessed us with a really big surprise that's really going to bless our team it's it's awesome uh, again i'm not going to tell you guys i'm going to leave that as a mystery for y'all yeah if you guess he ain't getting up we can't keep hats and shirts in right now right so <laughs> We're gonna uh, be revealing that to you guys here shortly. And then the third thing is Travis up in St. Louis is gonna be putting out a video pretty soon on the update on his build. He is very close to being done and having his car back on the track. So he's gonna jump on board and try to make us a really good video. And don't his worry, setup. A. Flim's gonna make the trip up there the next race with him. Right, Austin hopefully. is going to try to make it up there to hopefully give him a motivation good. speak speech on how to not hit the wall or tear up a car right a flim <laughs> <laughs> so but that's, he says that what is all this right here i know don't show him <laughs> the legend car is coming too we're there gonna, it is right there we're just waiting on it there's the new one we're gonna tear the legend car down and do a video of that and go through this car and get it ready for hopefully 
when I heal back up, me and the Bickers can race together. But that's the video. We're going to call it there. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update to let you know that all of your prayers and supports and positive comments have worked. I am believing that the Lord is going to heal my finger completely and give me a complete 100% turnaround on this quick so that I also can get back to work at my normal job and also get back to work and then get back into the car. So thank you guys so much for y'all's support. Y'all be sure to subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel, hit 500 subscribers as our next milestone. So make sure you like, share, comment so that we can get our channel out there to grow it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all be blessed.